When reviewing the solid organs, I prefer to use a checklist approach and move systematically through the anatomy. This way, I make sure to look at all important structures and reinforce my search pattern. We will begin our review of the solid organs with the liver, evaluating the tissue and vasculature. The portal venous phase provides the best balance of solid organ and vascular enhancement for general imaging and is the most common type of CT performed. The normal liver tissue has a smooth contour and uniform enhancement. The most common variations that you will encounter are fatty liver and cirrhosis. Fatty liver, or steatosis, will appear less bright than normal liver tissue due to fat infiltration throughout the organ. Cirrhotic livers often have a nodular, bumpy surface. Cirrhosis can also present with more subtle nodularity of the liver surface, but will often give other hints of the diagnosis, including widening of the fissure and enlargement of the left and caudate lobes. When evaluating the liver for different types of masses, there are two common types of benign lesions to look for. The first is a fluid-filled cyst, which will appear darker than the surrounding liver tissue with a smooth, thin, or imperceptible wall. Patients may have only a few or many cysts, as in this case. The second is a hemangioma, which in contrast to a cyst, has internal enhancement that will fill in over time. These are benign and relatively common in the liver. For hemangiomas in the arterial phase, the enhancement starts as small nodular areas along the outside of the mass, which grow and fill in toward the middle in the portal venous phase. Seeing this progression helps confirm the diagnosis. Finally, there are solid masses, which often enhance less than the liver tissue, but do not appear as dark as a cyst. These masses can be benign or malignant. Multiple round masses like this are suspicious for metastases and would require further evaluation. When evaluating the liver vasculature, you should first check the portal vein and follow it into the liver as it splits into the right and left branches. In portal venous phase CT, the right, middle, and left hepatic veins are usually filled with contrast mixed blood and can be seen emptying into the inferior vena cava, which is found along the back side of the liver. The portal and hepatic veins divide the liver into segmental anatomy, which radiologists and surgeons use to be very specific about the locations of different lesions or abnormalities. The hepatic veins and falciform ligament divide the liver vertically, whereas the portal veins divide the liver horizontally, together forming eight segments. Complete evaluation of the liver includes checking the overall tissue, screening for masses, and checking the vasculature. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.